Get ready for an update! Yeah! Yeah, man! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? How are we doing? Ah, oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. Everybody's doing good? Yeah. That's good to hear. Well, I'm doing good too. Uh, I'm in the hotel right now, over here at the Quality Inn, right down the street from the terminal. Uh, you guys remember this hotel. I've been to this hotel twice already. This is my third time going to frickin' orientation for Raven. Oh, man, let me tell you what. This is my last time going to orientation for Raven. Uh, I'm here to stay this time because... Let me explain to you real quick why we came back here and we left Prime. Um, the easiest way to put this is, is like this. I was here at Raven, right? And Raven was my girlfriend in so many ways. And then one day, I saw this hot blonde walk by. Just, oh man. And her name was Prime. You know? And, uh, I was like, you know, I'll, I'll go out with her one day. And, you know, I kept putting it off, kept putting it off. But one day, Prime asked me to go out with her. And I was like, oh, so, I went out with Prime, and I broke up with Raven, you know. Went out with Prime for, you know, a couple nights. Had dinner. Went to a movie. Everything was great. But then, Prime got a little personal. A little weird. You know, in a, in a way... And my old girlfriend, Raven, called me up. And she was like, come back. Come on back. Come home. And I'm like, you know what? I gotta go back home. And that's what Raven Transport feels like to me. Um, it feels like home, you know? It felt weird leaving. It felt weird going to Prime. I'm glad I went and experienced what it's like to be a lease driver. Granted, I was only there for three months, maybe, total. Yeah, maybe maybe I didn't give it a full chance to, uh, to sink in. But you know what? Like I said, I just feel like I'm home over here. I feel like this is where I belong. You know, this is where I've been. I mean, I was only at Werner for seven months, and I did my training over there with them, and I trained over there. But I've been here at Raven ever since, really, you know. I left once to go be a car salesman. That didn't work out. I left twice to go work for Prime, and that was working out. But I was looking. It's kind of like they say the grass is greener on the other side. Well, I crossed over to the other side, and I always say this. When you cross over from your yard to the, to the next yard that looks greener, and now you're on that other side looking back at your yard... Your yard doesn't look too bad. Your yard was actually really green, too. Now, I'm not saying Prime is a bad company. I'm just saying that it wasn't for me. Would I recommend Prime to anybody? Of course. Every day, all day. If you need to get your CDL and get the training knocked out and get into the industry, Prime is definitely the place to do it. it uh... That's definitely the place to get your experience versus Werner and Swift and all that other stuff because they got a better program over at Prime than Werner and Swift and all that. Um, it's all done in house. The schooling, the training, everything is done one on one with a trainer. You're not just out there with 10 other people on a pad, you know, going, you know, taking turns on backing maneuvers. Anyway, but now I'm back over here at the terminal hotel. Well, I'm at the hotel right now, down the street from the terminal for Raven. Tomorrow morning, uh, we'll be going through orientation. Uh, we got to go through the whole thing again. Uh, we're going to be getting, uh, I'm not sure what truck I'm going to be getting yet. I am going to be getting one of the uh, Peterbilt LNG liquid natural gas trucks. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of cool videos on this natural gas truck um, as far as uh, how they operate specs all this i'm going to learn all this stuff and i'm going to teach it to you guys because 
these trucks, right now Raven Transport is the large, even though Raven Transport only has like 400 some odd trucks on the road, Raven Transport is the largest, is the biggest company that has the most LNG trucks in its fleet. Second largest is UPS. They have LNG uh, day cabs. We started out with LNG day cabs. Now we have sleepers. I think there's maybe a few companies that may have LNG sleepers, but I'm not sure. But anyway, we're going to be doing, we're going to be learning that. We're going to be going over all the new, uh, latest and greatest things that uh, Raven has to offer. Um, if anybody uh, wants to come on over here and everything. And, and, don't, and don't get this twisted, because I can hear I can hear you in the background, some of you you people. Uh, I already know. Oh, look. Now he's back over there at Raven. He's promoting Raven. He was promoting Prime, and then he was promoting Werner. And promote, promoting, promoting, and blah, blah. No, people. Don't get it twisted. I said Prime was good, and I continue to say they're good. And uh, Werner was good, too. I mean, it just depends on what works for you. So people that are hating... Keep on hating. Hold on, I gotta... Hmm. <sighs> anyway, I got all my junk here in the hotel room. As you can see, it's all piled up in the corner back there. I got the PlayStation hooked up to the TV. We're gonna be doing some of that to kill some time. Tomorrow is day one of orientation. Drug test, physical, the whole nine. Uh, paperwork procedures, everything. And we should be on the road hopefully by Friday. No, hopefully no later, depending on when the drug test results come back and that shit. But um, I'm, I'm back home, people. I'm back home, basically, in a nutshell. Uh, and I'm here to stay this time because I've realized one thing, okay? And this is my advice to all of you guys. Trucking companies are a dime a dozen these days. They're everywhere, and they're looking for everybody and anybody to fill a seat. Um... You just need to find the right one and stick with it. Yeah, it's great to get out there and try other companies, but I've found out that I don't care if you're leasing, if you're a company, if you're an owner. the end of the day, it's all the same shit. And I don't mean that by shit. I mean that just in general. It's all the same shit at the end of the day. Uh, it's all the same song and dance, okay? So, find the company that works for you and your family and stay and stick with them. And that's... That's what I'm doing this time, unless I become a millionaire overnight or something. And I don't know. Um, but yeah, so stand by for some really cool Raven videos as far as the natural gas trucks go. And uh, I'm going to get with the guys in recruiting to find out what we got going on. I believe as of right now, Raven Transport does have a $1,000 sign-on bonus uh, starting... If you if you have it, I think you gotta have at least six months of, still six months of experience to sign up for the um, mentor apprentice program. Uh, if not, you gotta have a year of experience, and then I think the starting pay is forty five cents a mile. Uh, plus, with all the other stuff like I've done in my other videos, the, the, the Raven Cares card, uh, I'll go over all that stuff again for all the people that are just joining my channel and everything. There's so much to go over. Uh, there's stuff, new stuff happening every day. But anyway, that's it for today. Just want to let you know we made it. We, we, we were able to turn the truck in at Prime. Everything was good. Um, we drove all the way down from Missouri yesterday in a rental car. Ooh, that was a long drive, like 900 miles. I left there at like 6 in the morning and got here at 11 o'clock at night. And man, it was raining in Georgia. Oh, buckets coming down in buckets. All right, I'm going to shut up now. Have a great day. We'll see you later. Dun, dun, dun.